Well, hi, and welcome to another LRCC soundbite. I'm on my third week now of looking at the original laws that God gave to the Israelites, laws that we remember as the Ten Commandments. This week, numbers five and six, they're all about watching our behaviour. Number five says that we should respect our parents, and number six says don't murder. Now, I hope don't murder is something that we can all agree with, it's not acceptable in any society and there are laws and punishments in place. But I did want to think back to what Jesus said about this command. But I'll come back to that in a minute. Let's do the fifth one first. Let's do them in order. Respect your father and your mother. One of the older translations called the King James adds these words. So your days will be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. For me, there's a bit of a tongue in cheek interpretation of that line. It goes like this. Respect your father and mother so you don't get sent to bed early because sent to bed early means your day is short. Of course, that's not quite what it means. It's more about living a long and fruitful life. I think this is something about listening to our parents and learning from their wisdom. Now, I know that some people have had bad experiences in their families and the concept of respect can also be difficult. For me, I have respect for people I know who have earned my respect. There are roles I have respect for as well, a role that someone may hold, whether that's something they've been elected to or something they've earned. I think when it comes to our parents, this part of the command is about how we behave as an adult, not just something that applies to children. It may be that your experience has not been good, And you have no respect for one or both of your parents for some reason. What I'd I'd offer you, my thought on that is, is that this is also something about learning from our parents. And if through that loss of respect that you've got in your parent, that generally would come from that person acting in a way that you don't like, that you don't respect And I would hope that's something you've learned from. There's a lesson there that you've learned, something that's not good. And you say to yourself, I don't want to be that person. It's just my thought. I offer it to you in case it's helpful. I think this one on respect is hard because families are complicated things. If you want to talk more to me about it, then do feel free to get in touch. Do not murder, maybe... As we come back to that, maybe that's a bit easier. But Jesus changed it. Jesus said, he talked about this from a context of love, as he did with all of the commandments. This impacts on love your neighbour. And in fact, Jesus commented that getting angry at your neighbour was akin to breaking the command, do not murder. You might say that sounds a bit harsh. And I think the next level of thinking about this is to consider why might we get angry and what impact might that have? After all, where there's injustice in the world, it is right to be angry. It's right to be angry at people, at situations, at at those who are creating the problems. I think we have to look at what's behind our anger and what resolution will take that anger away. Where the resolution, the only thing we'll accept is revenge, then I'd suggest that's a dangerous road. It becomes something that eats us up, something that we can't let go of. So in my context, for me as a Christian, I believe God wants the best for me, the best for all of us. He doesn't want us to be consumed by anger and hate. And I think that's where Jesus is coming from when he condemns us for anger, not for anger where justice needs to be served but rather for anger against something where all we want is revenge. So two pieces of advice, I think, this week. Learn from those people who've gone before us. Don't make the same mistakes. And don't let anger and hate take control of you. God bless you. I'll see you next week.